for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven. Whereof you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven. Whereof he heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And this is our bread today. We are in Colossians today, chapter number one. That is verse number five. Glory be to God. Greetings in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to you wherever you are in our own world at this time. Planet Earth. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Grace, mercy, peace, and love from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. May it come upon you again today. Hallelujah. As we continue to lay a hold by laying hold <laughs> or oh, take the handle of hope. It's a handle. Glory be to God. That enable you to manage your affairs to manage your spirit man and to manage your mind and your heart lay hold lay hold today lay hold lay hold mm, declare today i'm gonna lay hold i'm gonna lay hold i'm gonna lay hold i'm gonna lay hold so what exactly does this hope the handle offers you today notice the writer said there is a there is a hope which is laid up <laughs> uh, in other words it is reserved it is ready for you hope is laid up for you and so what you need to do is line up with it what you need to do is to live up we have to lay hold on this and as you live up and line up you will log in you will log on <laughs> you will link in to this hope glory be to god in other words what does this hope do for you even as it helps you to defy the odds and the few shame this hope will enable you to dwell appropriately on the future. Dwell on the future. I want to encourage you to begin to, I told you maybe in another note that you need to sever your ties with that umbilical cord of your past and reconnect with a new umbilical cord. Connect to the future. The future is where it's at. The future is where it's at. Because I know the thoughts that I think towards you, the Lord said, is good and not evil and to give you the hope and the future. We all have the future, but not all of us have the hope. The hope, that same hope, that same hope that is based in the scriptures. Glory be to God. So this hope, friends, brethren and friends, cause us to, it's like that. It's, it's been, some people are nearsighted and some people are far-sighted, but this hope is long-sighted. <laughs> if you would, that's far. You can see way. It helps you to look steadfastly with a longing into the future, into the riches of the glory of the inheritance that is reserved and ready for you. Do you know that? Do you have this kind of hope? Because to be frank, all around us, everything around us is becoming hopeless. The kind of hope, oh, there, there's still some hope here. But if this hope is not being fed, if it is not being fostered and forged in the furnace of the future, I said, if your hope presently is not being fed and fostered and, 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 and formulated even in the furnace of the future, then it, it won't have the tenacity. It won't have the structural integrity to endure all of the hips and flows of time. It will not. It will crack under the pressure. It will, it will disintegrate, but when you are forged with, with the metal of the future that this hope is made of, uh, hallelujah, glory be to God. When your hope is forged in the furnace of the future, oh, it will have and maintain the structural integrity. It will be finely engineered to enable you to endure every hardship that may come your way. Hallelujah. For the hope which is laid up. Are you linked in? Have you logged on to that hope? Would you do that today? If you look to the Lord Jesus Christ, He's the connection. He's the connector to this hope. Think on these things and let us pray. Father, I bless your name. Oh, I glorify your name. I give you honor, I give you glory, and I give you praise, Lord, for this hope, Lord, that, that kind of lift our vision and our view and our outlook, Lord, from just the mundane things of this, on this plane. So we can look into the spiritual, Lord, and link to our future. Help us to dwell there, Lord. Help us to dwell on the future by this hope. Help us to start today. I give you all the honor, glory, and praise. And I declare it done now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.